Hello everyone, hey it's still April 2nd, but uh, <laughs> a couple things happened. I need to make sure I say something about it, I, I think. Uh, the first is, of course, if you don't know by now, you probably do, the UN adopted the Small Arms Treaty. And uh, if you've done any research on this, uh, don't believe the, the media that it's only about weapons being exchanged between nations or that type of thing. Uh, this actually attacks the Second Amendment directly, and there are people, of course, in, in our country, in our government, and in private corporations, and um, nonprofit organizations, things like that, that are looking to really ramp this up. So just be aware that that's what's happened now. And you know, I've, I've got to ask us all, and I know a lot of... Uh, radio talk show hosts are doing this, conservatives, people like that. You know, you don't want to rebel against your government. You don't, you don't want to have it turn into something that's, that's really nasty. But what do they think we're going to do? Do they think that we're just going to acquiesce, submit, lick their boots, when we know that in the long run what they're out to do is to incarcerate everyone in the country in one way or another? to give them poisons in the water and the food until they kill most of us? I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but if you look at the Club of Rome and all of this, where all of these things come from, you'll know that that's the end game. So we can't just sit back, sit down and take this, you know, <laughs> sitting down. We can't do it. Our, our senators, our congressmen, our bureaucrats, the president, the, almost everyone is a traitor to the Constitution of the United States. Almost everyone. There are a few, there are a handful that stand out and try to do something. You know, Senator Rand Paul, he's a physician. So I notice what he's doing, and he knows better than to, than to take on a fight. He can't win. But, you know, he's trying to do a surgical thing. What, what stands in the way right now some really bad stuff to this organism? Let's, let's try to take this out. So he attacked the drone thing. Great. And I understand he's going to try to do the same thing on these moves on the Second Amendment. But, but these guys are a handful compared to all of the leeches and the diseased politicians that are out there that are trying to make sure that you can't come after them for their criminality later. And that's what all this is about. They know that if they serve the, the masters at the top, these banksters and the people that control them, they think that they'll etch out a little place in this coming society for them. Well, you know what? When you know that you're doing something that's evil, or if you know that it's only for your benefit and no one else's, Man, that, that's wrong. That's a sin. And that, and, and as far as the arrows of office go, they are traitors. They, they are criminals. And this is wrong. Now, I got upset. But you know, the, the more I think about it, I think, uh, frankly, you know what I think about when I talk about somebody like that? I think about McCain. That Senator Jackass McCain. You know, he served in a POW camp. I don't know if you've ever looked at the history of that. But yes, he was in a POW camp. But you know what? He's a little slime ball because he's willing to put all of you into a place like that so that he can live high and mighty with the world elites. He's a traitor and he's a criminal and he's a little pussy. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, McCain, why don't you and I go out, we're about the same age, why don't we go out in a parking lot and just duke it out? Best man win. Because that's about where I am right now. You piece of shit. All of you guys are, and I'm losing my temper. I usually don't do it this bad. You know, they're continuing to go after vets, you know, all over the place, claiming that they have psychological problems merely because they complain about the government or, or somebody else calls up and, and delivers a, oh, uh, an anonymous message. And without warrant, without any proof or evidence, they go in there, they, they commit these guys, and then, of course, when they get out showing that, hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with them, but then they have these big court costs, and they can't get their guns back. This is theft. This isn't the United States of America, not spelled with a C. This is America. America. Nazis, Stasi, Communists, Marxists, Leninists, Maoists. And that's who these guys worship because, you know, I agree most of society is a bunch of shit walking around on two legs. Don't you think I know that? I was a cop. I was a military officer. 
You know, I've been out on the public. I know that ha probably half our population is shit. But you know what? They mirror the top buddies, and they see you guys doing all these things illegally, and they just figure out what the hell. Not only that, but you know, you're letting these criminals in from all over the world. Our CIA tra traffics more drugs than anybody else in the entire world. Has the U.S. military protecting part of it in South America and over in, in, the, in the Golden Triangle, and of course in Afghanistan, the largest poppy fields in the world. 90% of the heroin comes from there. Opium. I'm just sick of it, you know? You guys are criminals in government, all of you. You know what? Power does corrupt. And I, and I realize this, you know, probably if we had a revolution today and we got rid of everybody today, we'd probably have a decent government for maybe 10, 20 years, and then it'd all start over with because that's the nature of man. So I'm not kidding myself. I'm not looking for a utopia. I'm just, I'm just asking you to abide by the oath that you took. And you cops and you military people, you know, if all you're doing is following orders, you're no better than the Nazis at Nuremberg. No better. And if you're too stupid or choose to be ignorant, that's what ignore means, is to ignore. Ignorance means ignore. If you're ignoring your oath of office because it's simple, you just want to get your paycheck and do your job, or you want to be, you know, the great G.I. Joe or whatever, you know, if you're doing that without taking that oath seriously, you are not an American. You are a traitor too. You know, I'm just, I just can't believe how stupid Americans are. I really lost it today. I really lost it. I want to confront all these traitors in government. Most of them deserve to be hung, at least imprisoned, arrested and imprisoned. <sighs> okay, you know what? This insurance, you know, anybody who understands how insurance works, and I'm not an insurance, you know, guy, but I understand that that's part of the banking system. Whether it's health insurance, car insurance, life insurance, whatever. You know, it's all part of the banking system. And you know what? Now they want to make you have insurance to have weapons. You're going to tell the very people that are enemies of this country where your weapons are? You know what? I know not what course others may take, but I'm going to say the same thing that Charlton Heston said. From my cold, dead hands, and no, I'm not buying your damned insurance. And anybody who does is a coward. And anybody that comes to someone's house to try to take their weapons from them, they deserve to get shot. And I don't care who they are. This is out of control. You police and you military, you're supporting the very people that are destroying the fabric of the Constitution of the United States. Actually, it's already destroyed. But you're going to come in here and you're going to enforce it? Come on, guys. We're soldiers. Okay? We're brothers in arms. Why are we on, the, on different sides of this sand, line in the sand? Why? Are you just biding your time? Okay, okay, if that's the case. But if you honestly, genuinely, in your heart and in your soul think that you're doing the right thing, you've got to really study the issues a lot more. You know, our forefathers bled and died, lost their families, lost their wives, lost their children, you know, lost their properties, lost their good names, and we're just all going to throw it away? Ever since Jesus Christ, you know, everybody thinks he was just a spiritual guy. That you know, it's all about prayer and the and the beatitudes on the Mount of Olives. I hate to tell you this, but Rome didn't crucify a guy for teaching the beatitudes. He was killed for really one reason. Yeah, I've heard a lot of guys talking about it lately. He up he upset the money changers, the banksters of his time, in the temple and whipped them. All right. And he told the people, you know, everybody says, well, he said to pay the tax. No, he did not. If you read that story a little carefully, you'll know, first of all, where the money came from and then what it was. It wasn't about being good little citizen and paying tax to an illicit, illegal, criminal government. Jesus Christ was crucified because he was a political insurrectionist. 
whether you like it or not. That's what they crucified people for. Not for beatitudes, not for teaching good things, but for teaching the overthrow of the government, being in this world or the next. Jesus Christ was a liberator of the very first type. A true liberator of the spirit and the soul because if they're not free the body won't be you got to know what you want before you can get it and what we've got in America is not freedom anymore ladies and gentlemen not by a damn long shot and it's getting worse every day I'm gonna say it again you guys that are in the government I know you're watching this you better figure out who you're really working for because you're on the wrong side. You may not think so now because you're getting a paycheck and you've got this little authority you've got, you know. You think that it's really good. In the end, you know who the, you know who the enemies kill first after they get what they want? The collaborators, buddies. The collaborators. Because they know they can't be trusted. They're the first ones after they take over that they eliminate. Study history. And you're not hearing that just from me. I'm a military guy, okay? 28 years. I know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know who your real friends are, who support and defend the Constitution of the United States and are brothers in arms, then you're nothing but traitors. I really beat that dead horse today. Foreign governments in power, foreign corporations, international banksters, you know, they've torn our country apart. Torn it apart. Southern Poverty Law Center, that piece of shit. Who the Justice Department pays to give them the information. In other words, the Justice Department feeds it to them and then have them give it back to the Justice Department. Oh, look at this intelligence information. No. Fast and Furious Holder and, and Obama both ought to be in prison right now. Waco, Ruby Ridge. <laughs> Am I a Timothy McVeigh? No. You made him. You guys in the intelligence community made him and used him. Because no red-blooded American is going to go kill innocents. All right? No one. If you see that happen in this country, you guys and your bosses did it. Not me and my friends. Not the guys that I bled with and trumped over mountains and deserts. swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States and my fellow citizens. And if you senators and congressmen, the president, you bureaucrats, all you guys, if you don't feel about this the way I do, then you don't deserve to be Americans. And you, as a matter of fact, you are not Americans. You are liars and deceivers like your father. I am my father's son. I know who my father is, and he's not yours. If you are of Abraham's seed, you will do the works of Abraham. And if you do not the works of Abraham, you are of your father, the devil, the liar from the beginning who loves and makes a lie. And that's not a religious statement. That's a statement of fact, of history. It's time to stand up. Men out there, it's time to stand up. It's time to say no more. No more of this. And women, you're good men out there that are, and, and there are good women too, but you know how I feel about women getting involved in these things. I, 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 th they're there for, for other reasons, to help the children, to, to back up the men. I know that sounds incredibly ridiculous, but that's what this thing was designed to do. Whether you like it or not, I don't care what Gloria Steinem said or any of those other people that just wanted to destroy you under some pretense of equality. This is mankind we're talking about, not our little prissy pussyfoot wants. You good women out there need to stand behind your husbands that are trying to do something here. I know what it's like to be abandoned by people that don't want to listen. 
A good man needs a good woman behind him. It, it gives him inspiration. He'll lay his life down for you. Come on, Americans, wake up. And I, you know, again, I'm talking to the choir probably. My, my channel isn't very big here. I do this more as a <clears throat> proof of my position on these matters so no one will say that you were silent, Roy. Why didn't you speak up? I have for 30 years. God bless you all and wake up. Help those who, uh, who are trying to you know, turn this thing around. So like I said, I know it's too late. You know, that, that sounds kind of anticlimactic and kind of stupid, but I know it's too late, but we, but we need to have those like-minded people around us. And we, we still need to, to make the testimony against the leaders of this nation. We need to sound this from the housetops, day in and day out. And may those of you who are of my family, may our Father look upon us and bless us and bring us again into his presence. Good day.